think we're currently at a time in which anyone who loves wildlife has to act now and do something. My name is Brian and I photograph animals. I try to raise awareness for animals and if I can also raise funds, then it's even better. I grew up just outside of Chicago and I never thought that one day I would find myself living in an old trailer on the grounds of a big cat sanctuary in Florida. Living just feet away from a leopard, it is strange indeed. I came down here to volunteer and soon after they needed a living keeper. I thought I would do it for two years or so, and two became four, four became now almost eight. It's a long time of cleaning up poop, feeding cats, landscaping, pretty much doing whatever's needed to provide the best home we can for all these cats. Since a lot of these cats came from homes that they simply were unwanted, I promised some that I would be here as long as they were alive. Well, those cats have since passed, and next spring looks like I'll be moving back to Chicago. It'll be sad to leave the place, that's for sure. I've lent out a lot of shots for other people to use for animal conservation websites. Uh, I also run a few uh, conservation sites to help people out. I also shoot short videos and shot over a hundred of them, all with trying to convey you know, people to appreciate what we have on this earth. Trying to help preserve habitat and animal conservation has become my passion. So why not use the internet and a you know, huge popularity of all these free sites uh, to help spread that message. Working here at the Sanctuary allows me the advantage. I guess being able to get close up to the enclosures. I seem to do a lot of black and white pictures, a lot of them close-ups. I guess I try to capture the soul and the expression of the animal. True love is traveling. I've been to Africa a few times. I love the challenge to head there and try to get some good shots with just using the average equipment I have. We are at such a crucial time which places that have these animals living in their natural habitats around the world they just simply need the funds and the awareness to be able to help fend off uh, the people that want to poach these animals or even people that just want to use that land for anything but having wild animals on it. You know, no matter what side of the animal welfare issues you stand on, you know, if you like captivity or not, let's put that aside. You know, it's really time for everyone to step up and support these wild animals that are left out there. It doesn't take too much cash, you know, to hire a security guard to fend off poachers in Africa. You know, it doesn't take too much funds to help purchase a GPS collar for a snow leopard in Asia. So I got this from the African Wildlife Foundation. Uh, this is from the Snow Leopard Trust. Just some cool little things you get in return uh, for your support. From the Sumatran Tiger Trust, I got a cool picture of a cat that I adopted there, Sumatra. People ask me all the time, why don't you devote your time in helping out mankind? Well, I love animals. I and mean, truly, any good conservation program that you'll see, like in the Snow Upper Trust or the Label Wildlife Conservancy you know, in Africa, well, they have community programs attached to them. So in helping the animals, you're also helping the people who live around them as well. It's sad, but the main issues behind any animal problem is really people. Uh, but what politician is going to run and, and preach human overpopulation or these issues that we really don't want to talk about? You know, it won't happen. Uh, so will humans stop breeding so much and will we as Americans really rearrange our lifestyles to use less resources? I don't know. Uh, so will I be able to you know, save a species from extinction? I'm not sure, you know, but I am going to have a lot of fun trying to slow down that process.